Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most powerful set of widget toggles on the market. Now, widget toggles, aka power toggles, are a pretty common utility on Android. They give you a quick and easy way to toggle various settings right from your home screen, or in some cases through an interactive ongoing notification. Unfortunately though, the settings that most of these are capable of toggling are limited to what the Android permission system allows for. And this means only a handful of useful toggles like Wi-Fi or screen rotation are available. But the app Action Widgets doesn't use Android's standard permission set. It incorporates an Expose module to open up tons of actions that can be toggled. This of course means that you'll need to be rooted with the Expose framework installed to take full advantage of this one. But if you need any help with that stuff, just check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. Beyond that, just search Action Widgets on the Play Store to get the app installed. I'd recommend using quotation marks around your query since this is a brand new app. But within a few seconds of installing the app, you'll get a notification from Exposed. This of course will only apply if you have the Exposed framework installed. But go ahead and tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification to get the Exposed part of the app up and running. When you get back up, go ahead and open Action Widgets from your app drawer. The app should ask for super user access as soon as you run it this first time. So tap Grant on this pop-up. From here, there's one more step to take before you can fully utilize Action Widgets. The second card here lets you know that to use some of the functions that the app provides, you'll need to install a helper app to your system partition. That may sound a little complicated, but it's really not. Just tap the install button on this card and the app will do it all for you automatically. When it's done, you'll have to reboot your phone again for the changes to take effect. Just tap yes on this pop-up to knock that part out. Okay, so after that second reboot, you're now ready to use the full suite of Action Widgets. If you open the app again, you'll see what they call your Action Pad. This is a quick view of all the functions that Action Widgets is capable of toggling, and these also serve as power toggles themselves. But if you tap this button in the top right corner, you can do a little personalization. As you can see right now, there's already an Action Widget in the notification tray, and it's already themed with a few toggles queued up. But if you don't want the notification widget, you can turn it off altogether right here. Or if you opt to leave it on, you can tap the Settings icon to configure it a bit. From here, you can select which actions you want to be able to toggle directly from this notification widget, and there are plenty to choose from. Options range from toggling tethering, clearing recent apps, boosting RAM, and a whole lot more. Beyond that, tap the Theme tab, and you'll be able to change the looks of this widget. There are plenty of nice themes to choose from, and they're all free, so you're bound to find the look that's right for you. Then with that all set up, tap OK at the bottom here, and your notification widget will be all ready to go. If you'd like to add a home screen widget or two, Action Widgets has you covered there as well. Just use your phone's regular widget picker interface to add one of Action Widgets' three different layout options to your home screen. When you do that, you'll be prompted to select the toggles and the theme with this familiar interface. So you can see how the set of widget toggles is definitely the most robust on the market, and the theming options are just icing on the cake. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out our website over at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!